The premise of this anime is quite interesting. An entire world that everything is determined by games. No violence, no killing. You can't do any of that. You got to play the game. But it seems like everybody's going to end up cheating, right? It's like cheating. Don't get caught, though. This god, Ted created the 10 pledges. There's a lot of interesting things that's kind of been just thrown at you. I couldn't absorb it all, but I'm sure it's going to be really interesting moving forward to see if someone could actually break the pledges. What happens? Let's find out today's reaction. All oh, right, this girl just lost everything, right? This is the king's granddaughter? No, this is definitely a little bit weird, bro. Yeah, uh-uh, uh-uh. Yeah. That's for you to figure it out. No, but if we save you there, then... Then what? You should have done it yourself. No, you lost because of yourself. Even if you became king, the fact that you can't do it by yourself will just carry over. Sore loser. Truth hurts. We're, we're baiting her? Okay, the Shiro head pads are cute. Yeah, a child called you on an 11-year-old. She, I mean, I don't think... I mean, red-haired girl. Eris, Mushoku Tensei. Hothead, right? Oh my god. Yo, that's kind of out of pocket. You're gonna make her cry. That was kind of really mean. <laughs> this guy is just so mean! <laughs> oh. No violence allowed. Never mind. But we're gonna destroy her. What do we want to do with the king's granddaughter? It'd be pretty useful. Rock, paper, scissors? That's just RNG unless you got some godlike reaction speed. Mental game time. So now, we should go scissors, right? If it's paper. But because he said that, surely he's not gonna go paper, right? Nah, you already lost. Nah, you already lost. You, that, that, whatever that's covering your body right now. Everything. That is an insane bet to bet your life over rock, paper, scissors. But this isn't, you know, RNG based. He's already planted a seed in her head about being paper. It's already over. Yeah, you're like royalty, right? Can we stay at a castle? So what if he... So, logically, if he says he's gonna go paper, you should go scissors. But do you really think that she'll just go scissors? No, she'll overthink it and she'll go rock. Because surely he wouldn't go paper. Because he's baiting us. He's gonna go with the rock. Do you really, though? I don't think math is gonna work out for you right now. Go paper. Go paper, fuck it. No, 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 don't go with rock or scissors. But this might be the double thing. It's like, because you think that we're making you go scissors, you're gonna change. But what if he's thinking a level beyond that? Now, you got the mind games going on. Maybe she should go scissors, right? It's like, you think that we're gonna go paper, so you're gonna go scissors. That's like this level. So I will go rock, but it's like, no. He predicts that, therefore we need to go one more layer up. Therefore, we go back to the dumb choice, which is scissors. It's not dumb anymore. There's layers, you know what I'm saying? Will he, though? Are you sure? Ooh! Wow, it was just level one bait, huh? It was just level one baits. That was the lowest level of bait, you know? Taunting for paper, therefore you go scissors and beat you with rock. Damn, you don't have to humiliate her. You don't have to humiliate her! Oh my god, this is more mental damage. You want everything, that's hers, right? Oh? Wait? Yep, but did I respond? Deception. She even got beat out of that. I got beat it too. Nah, he's not gonna do anything sexual in front of his sister? Come on now. Huh? What is this pose? <laughs> I don't know about the execution or delivery at that at the end, but really, that's it? You want her to be your girlfriend? I mean, can she just do that though? Uh huh. True. Big brain Shiro. Oh, Shiro is like just asking him. Yo, you got the horny. You, you let the horny get the better of you. I wonder what she's thinking right now. 
the granddaughter. Because you have me. Degenerate! This is not okay just because it's your sister! No! <laughs> I wonder what the granddaughter thinking, bro. This is so fucking stupid. She's probably like, what the fuck is going on? I'm sorry. He, he loves his sister more than you. She is stacked, though. <laughs> Shoujo. So her name is Steph. Her voice act is funny. Steph. Wow! Wait, because of the rules of this world, she's already acting all giddy and like that. And the fact that she looked at, you know, uh... What's it? Soda. And he saw like a shoujo version of it. Oh, the power of the pledges. I feel like that'd be so fucked up for him to just do that. Like, I, I, it's not about the little sister not minding. I, I don't know. Like, unless she's actually down, but with the pledge, it's just weird. You know, it's like, oh, that's a lot of titty grab. Oh, that's a... <gasps> what are you collecting evidence? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you know, this fan service isn't even actually that bad compared to DXD, right? Oh my god. She somehow overcame the power of the pledge. What the fuck? What happened? Wait, what? What is this side to him? What the fuck is going on? Sister can't live without brother and the brother just... Just because they're apart? This is like their... Neat sides showing, huh? Like they cannot live unless they're together. <laughs> what is this animation? Why is Shiro moving like that? I know it's a shampoo in the head, but come on now, guys. Come on now. Oh my god, she keeps moving. It's pretty cool that the cell phone still works in this world, though. I mean, obviously no signal, but like the camera, right? Like besides getting a ca picture of her anime titties, I'm talking about other actual uses of the camera in this show. That wait, wait, that's just her armpits. Sorry, elbow pit. Uh, looks kind of cute. Yeah, the buttons, the the ribbon's very cute. My man, Sora. Okay. He looks pretty. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so into it. Just because of the pledge, though, right? I wonder if she's actually barbarically strong like that. Oh, that's a Dio reference. This is pretty funny. It's, it's, it's kind of fucked up. The fact that like she has to act like this because of the pledge. But it's also hilarious when she gets all lovey-dovey. <laughs> Dude, is she actually just that strong? They look really cool like this though. Damn. They're like posing for a picture. This looks really cool. Damn. Yo, no stethoscope needed. This actually looks great. Elkia. Imanati nations. The overall continents? The human race. Imanity? Humanity. Imanity. Okay. 16 sentient races. Oh my god. That's a lot. The exceed? All of them are just considered the exceed? There's so many. I can't keep up with this. Jesus. Pieces of shit outside on their fucking motorcycle. Ugh, damn, we are dead last. What? Why do we suck? No affinity magic. Magic. But who needs magic when you're just playing games? We can't even tell if it's been being used. Therefore, people can cheat with magic and we can't win. Oh, I see, I see. Zero is so focused in the book. We just gotta learn humanity. But usually in Isekai, we just automatically learn the local language, right? Hashiro learned. I'm done. Well, I mean, she's better than a supercomputer at chess. It makes this is way easier than that. Yes. Yes. <laughs> the entire time she was monologuing, she was just reading the book and memorized it. 
No, you're just a fucking child genius. <laughs> it's better for a man to be slow than fast. Uh-huh, the perfect duo. Humanity's last hope. They could be the ones to take it all the way. Oh, it's that girl again. Well, we can if two pair of genius like this shows up. So we have to like inherit her will and prove that grandfather was not wrong. Do we have any reason to help her out like that? Other than, you know, being the main characters. Yeah, especially if you're doing a stuff. But if we do it, it's a bit different. Oh, that girl that won everything. So she won the tournament? She's the girl that defeated Steph last episode, right? But she had to help with the other magic user. Kurami. I like the veil design. Something about like a veil like that is always so... It's got a sex appeal to it. <laughs> she does look a little not royal, huh? I don't like the feel of this. Oh my god, this bitch. This bitch. Yo, we gotta destroy her. You won because you had friends like a cheating with you. What? Sora, get in there, bro. Are you just gonna let your girlfriend be like this? Come on. Wait, wait, but, are, are, but hold up. You're kind of shitting on her too, but. By picking up the dress, you ex. Huh? Mine now. I'm gonna put Shiro in that dress. The dress putting down and thing to pick it up is a deal? Hold up. I guess the butler outfit kind of looks like a servant, yeah? Okay, she took it back. There are four? Okay, I thought this is some indirect way of like starting some kind of duel. Well, she, she has to or just both go insane. <laughs> Is he? Yeah, I mean, all the games they played in the old world probably kind of boring because they beat everything. But now, you know, we gotta beat like magic users. Damn, we went from shitting on her bloodline saying your foolish grandpa's blood to. <laughs> Let's go protect your grandpa's like honor. <laughs> Let's prove that he was right. I can't believe the outfit that Steph is wearing as a princess. Oh, what a simple goal to become king casually. Actually, that goal of becoming king is kind of casual because in the grand scheme of things, we're just like trying to become king of this world. But this world, we're ranked 16th. Imania fuck, Imanity fucking sucks. So I'm sure later on, which is not in season one, after he becomes king, he's going to start wagering different duels against different like races and continents and winning them over. So it's going to be like some kind of global scale, right? But unfortunately, we're not going to get there. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.